Yum, yum. Hello everyone, Steve White here for Pixel Fondue. So a few days ago, Allegro Rhythmic released a new version of Substance Painter. It's uh, version 2017.2. And there's a great new feature in there called Anchor Points. And what Anchor Points are is they allow you to reference some of the, uh, the high detail or, or you know, uh, edge wear that you have put into your model and place that into like a new stamp that you put down. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna, first I'm gonna go ahead and make a paint layer. And then I'm gonna to come to my hard surface library and choose one of these uh, normal map stamps. And I'm gonna put that right into my normal channel. Okay, now the normal channel is the only one I have enabled on this layer. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the hardness up on my brush here. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this into my object a few times. Okay, so you can see the problem I'm having is that it's not really incorporating this edgeware that I have in my object into these new stamps. And that's where anchor points come in. So I'm gonna go up here to my paint layer and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose add anchor point from the bottom of the list. Okay, so if we come in here to our properties, uh, you can see it's not finding any references. Uh, so the reason for that is, is we're trying to reference this metal edgeware generator that we have on our paint layer. Uh, but it's it's above that layer, so it can't see it, essentially. So let's just go ahead and drag this paint layer to the bottom of our stack. And then from our metal edgeware, I'm going to come down here. And for our, I'm going to go into micro details here. And for our micro details, micro normal, I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And then down here in our micro normal channel, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And now we have a new tab called anchor points. And I'll switch over to that. And I'm going to choose that layer one. And now under that micro normal channel, there's a, uh, a box here called reference channel. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn that to normal. So now you can see that we're actually getting that edgeware into our object. So, and we we come up here and adjust our, uh, our wear level, you know, on our, our generator. You can see it's taking that alpha into account. Okay, so, uh, it's a little convoluted to set up, and you know, I guess uh, Wes over at uh, Allegro Rhythmic said they're going to be streaming, streamlining that uh, process in the future. Uh, but there's another filter that you can use uh, to sort of achieve the same effect, and I'll show you that. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that uh, that paint layer that we added, and I'm going to go ahead and add a new one to the top. And I'm going to come in here again and go ahead and stamp that stamp down on our object again. And now, if we just uh, choose this paint layer. I'm going to go ahead and right click on this and I'm going to add a filter. And under our filter, if we go down here, uh, we're going to look for a filter called uh, Manifex Detail Edgeware. And I'm going to choose that. Okay, now it's, uh, it's actually below our edgeware, so this time we actually need to drag it above. So if we drag it up here to the top of the list, now you can see that we're getting that edgeware in our object. And for that, uh, that detail edgeware, we can come in here and we can start to uh, you know, increasing or, you know, or making some settings to the amount of edgeware we have. Uh, the only problem with this filter, it's very easy to set up, but if we come up to the edgeware of our actual object and we change the, uh, the wear level, you can see that it's not really seeing that filter that we added. Uh, so uh, there's a little bit of a, fl you know, flexibility trade-off there. Uh, so if you're just adding stamps to an object and you just want uh, to incorporate the edgeware that you've already added, then that filter, that matte effects filter, will work great. Uh, but otherwise, anchor points give you a great flexibility uh, to make any changes you want and have that updated in the object. Yum, yum!